putting the rubbish out. Did you know that lots of things you throw away can be used again? It's called recycling. I've got some paper and card here. They go in this brown bin. Do you recycle at home? It's a good thing to do because it means instead of all these old things just being thrown away, they get made into new things. But do you know how your rubbish gets from your house to be recycled? Well, it all starts with a bin lorry. And I want to know how it works. How does it work? A bin lorry. <laughs> Look, there it is, the recycling lorry. Big, isn't it? And noisy. Shall we take a closer look? When your recycling is collected, the bins are wheeled from your house to the lorry. Then the bin is hooked onto a platform, which lifts it upside down so that everything tips out into the lorry. It's brilliant, isn't it? I like the way the whole bin gets tipped upside down. The lorry is just like a big robot, and this bit at the back where it all happens is called the hopper. You should never play or go near a lorry, but I've got special permission to see how they work. I want to see what happens when the rubbish gets tipped upside down. So let's put my special camera inside and get a closer look. <laughs> look at all that recycling. It smells a little bit. And now, this huge metal arm inside the hopper has come down from the lorry and is dragging all the recycling up and pulling it to the back. The recycling lorry, it sounds alive. It's making so many noises. Even when it stops, it goes It's a bit like it's sneezing. That was so much fun. Let's see it again in slow motion. Here comes the bin, tipping, tipping, and there goes the recycling. It looks amazing, but do you know how the hopper tips the bin? Let's find out. On bin day, your bin is wheeled to the back of the lorry and hooked onto a robotic arm at the back called the rear loader. When the bin is locked into position, the rear loader arm starts moving. The first part moves upwards, lifting the bin higher and higher. Then it starts to move backwards and this tips the bin upside down. The lid tips open so that all the recycling falls out. Inside the lorry, the recycling falls into a big tank. Next, a moving wall pushes all the recycling to the back of the lorry, crushing it together. This means there's room for more recycling. This bit at the back, the hopper, is really clever, isn't it? And look, there go two more recycling bins. And remember, inside the lorry, you have a big moving wall that is pushing the recycling together to save space. But once the rubbish is inside the lorry, do you know where it goes next? Well, follow me. finished collecting all the recycling, it heads off to a recycling plant. It's a big place where all the different recycling gets sorted out. And here we are now. This big pile of plastic and paper here is recycling collected from lots of people's homes. And our lorry is adding to the pile right now. Wow! Just look at all that! I can't believe how much recycling was squeezed into this lorry. Next, a digger truck scoops up the recycling and tips it into this. And it makes its way 
<laughs> so this large metal wheel which crushes up the recycling to make it flat where it's ready to go on to the next stage. In here, people are sorting through the recycling, taking anything that can't be recycled out. Everything else keeps going along the conveyor belt through here. The recycling goes into a huge drum. The drum spins around and the heavy things fall to the bottom and the lighter bits of recycling stay at the top. When the recycling comes out of the drum, it goes into three different conveyor belts. Big, medium and small. The small bits of recycling include some plastics and some paper and now they need to be separated. This special machine blows the plastic and paper apart. The paper drops down inside this machine, which crushes it into big blocks called bales. And these bales of paper and cards will be sent to factories all over the world to be made into new things. What did you like most about seeing how the recycling lorry worked? the lorry where all the recycling goes in. That's right, it's called the hopper. Did you hear the sound the bin lorry made when it stopped? It was like a sound. <laughs> and did you see the way the bin was tipped upside down by a robotic arm? Now you know how a recycling truck works and how some of your recycling gets taken here to a recycling plant. But do you know how it gets recycled or what it gets made into? Let's find out. How is it made? A newspaper. One of the places your old recycled paper might end up is here, in a paper mill. Here they turn your recycled paper and cardboard into this, newspaper, and I'm going to show you how they do it. This is all recycling that was collected from people's homes and offices and turned into bales at a recycling plant. The bales are being placed onto this moving belt where they go to be broken up into loose pieces and then are carried all the way to a special machine called a pulper. And this is the pulper. It spins all the old paper round and round and mixes it with water. So it's a bit like a washing machine. This pulper is enormous. It's one of the biggest in the world. All of the spinning and mixing with water brings the paper up and turns it into something called pulp. It looks like muddy, sludgy water, doesn't it? I don't want to get too close, so let's use my special camera instead. Are you ready? Let's go for a dip. Oh. Can you believe that this muddy, sludgy pulp is going to become newspaper? Yuck. Luckily, the camera is in a waterproof case. Sorry, special camera. <laughs> goes through a giant sieve and anything we don't want in our paper, like bits of plastic, gets taken out. Then the pulp goes to the next part of the mill, which is enormous and very noisy. So noisy that you can't hear anything else, but follow me. The pulp travels through this pipe into another big machine. The pulp that is going round this spinning roller to be washed, this gets rid of all the ink. It's very messy. When it's dried, it comes out white. Come and have a look. There it is. When the paper comes out the other end, it's wound onto one of these huge reels. They're called jumbo reels and all that paper weighs 100 tonnes. 
that's the same as 10 of the biggest elephants that ever lived. I have never seen so much paper in my whole life. This reel of paper is far too big to be turned into a newspaper, isn't it? So it has to be cut down into smaller pieces. And that happens over here. And now these smaller reels of paper are ready to go off to the printers to be turned into newspaper. But first, they have to be packaged up by these robots. This is in newspaper printers. And here, the reels of plain recycled paper we saw made at the paper mill are loaded onto this machine, ready to be turned into newspapers for us to read. But before the newspapers can be printed, the words and pictures are put onto something called a printing plate. Once the plates have been created, they're put onto this long roller. It's called a cylinder. And the cylinder is a bit like a stamp. And when it's covered in ink and rolled over the plain paper, it leaves a mark. Just like my stamp here, it works a bit like this. The stamp, or plate, gets pressed into the ink, and the ink gets pressed into the paper, leaving the words and pictures that we need to make a newspaper. But the printing press goes much, much quicker. so exciting seeing how all our old rubbish can be recycled and made into new things like this newspaper and the best thing about a newspaper is that once you've finished reading it you can pop it in the recycling bin ready to be recycled again see you next time <laughs>